Hey guys, uh, just uh, on a good morning run, and uh, I was kind of just praying and, and listening to uh, some music, and I kind of wanted to just share a story with you, and I thought I'd pick a good spot, so hopefully you can see kind of where I'm at. I'm on a draw bridge right now. Uh, this is probably the coolest view right there, but um, just want to take a second just to stop and and uh, just chat with you about a little story that happened to me a couple years ago, two years ago, I think now, uh, Thanksgiving. And it's really a story about grace. And um, I was kind of just pondering it. I'll write the whole story up and put it uh, below the video, and which will be accessible in any of the links that, um, that you find, and I'll post it to the blog. But, um, yeah, so two years ago, I was a server. I'd been a server for a couple of years, so I'd say I was a veteran. And um, it was Thanksgiving. We had this family that came in, and and they were so excited, so excited about the uh, the pumpkin pie. And uh, the mom had made that, you know, known to me right as we sat down. Oh, we came. We chose your restaurant because we heard that there was homemade pumpkin pie. And uh, so, whatever happens, that's what we want. So. Anyways, we, you know, start the order and I, I am just fumbling through my words. I cannot get the, the presentation out, you know, of the dishes and everything and just kept messing it up and I look completely unprofessional. Um, well, I finally get all the order in and a couple, you know, it was slammed night because obviously Thanksgiving in Kauai is, you know, pretty, pretty packed, all the restaurants, people come. And uh, anyway, so I... Everything got served, and um, and uh, the mom, the mom's dish came out and it was completely wrong, and uh, <laughs> so we refired it. And then the, when it came back, refired the second time. Where this is probably an hour and a half, two hours later, it was wrong the second time, and the family had waited all of them to eat together. So by all industry standards. Uh, you know, communication went terrible. Presentation at the beginning was wrong. Food was wrong. And uh, they finally finished eating. And by that time, all the pumpkin pie had been eaten by other customers. And um, I had made a note to, and I told the kitchen that too. And um, anyway, so I had to go back and, t and tell the, um, the family, you know, that I'm so sorry, but there's no pumpkin pie left. And um, so I did. And you know, this whole time, for the probably two and a half hours, three hours that they were there, they didn't treat me rude. They didn't, uh, you know, smear or snicker toward each other. And they were completely polite and patient and understanding. And um, which anybody that's worked in, industry, in the serving industry knows that's just not the norm. Um, people try to get whatever they can for free. But at the very end of it, they left, said goodbye. And I looked down, you know, my hands are shaking as I walk into the kitchen. I'm like, oh, geez, this is going to be a terrible tip with a bad. And I looked down and there was a $100 tip in the bill slip. And not only that but he paid for the entire meal even though we cut half of it off um, as a courtesy to them. And that was the best representation of what grace is. In no way was I deserving or had I earned or was I entitled to the generosity of what that guy did that was completely out of his character that he chose to give me that a hundred dollar bill and I'll put in the notes kind of my exact thoughts as you know as I've pondered through this today but I think the thing that that I want you to take away and that I took away from that story was it didn't, it was nothing that I could do, right? It was completely out of this guy's character. 
And yet, the question that I drove home with, that I kept pondering as I was driving home is, okay, now what? What, what is my proper response to what was just done to me? And what I came up with is, you know, I could have taken that $100 and spent it anywhere. Or, I don't know, bought a new bathing suit or something. But because of what he did for me, and this isn't to pat myself on the back, but my tr honestly, my, my natural response was, I wanted to become a better server. And so I set up meetings with, um, with the cook and the line and the expo to work on communication. And I went back and I, I relearned the menu and, and practiced my presentation. And I think really pondering that today while I was running, um, the answer to the what now question really is a heart of gratitude. And I guess when we're, we're given grace, our natural response is to go and give that grace back out. Because I can think of a couple times now when I've been out at restaurants and the server messed up or the food took two hours to come out or whatever it might be. And my natural impulse is to be like, come on, let's go get on the picture. And, and yet I always go back to that on Thanksgiving. And so I just want to challenge you with that, you know, is what grace can you give? What grace can I give to the people around us that are completely undeserving of it, that they haven't earned it, they ha they're not entitled to it, but we have the power to give it. And the amazing thing is that power can really transform the way that somebody thinks and how they act in a situation next time. And so just wanted to share that with you. Um, maybe that'll help you out, maybe not. Uh, please read the story below because I put some nuggets in there, I'm sure. Um, when I sit down and actually type it out, um, it always seems to flow a little bit better. <laughs> but I uh, hope you're having a great Monday. Take care.